Hey everybody, uh, I just want to sh sh show you what, what I'm doing now with uh, my, my, uh, my big plane, my uh, FB Albatross. Um, I figured it's about time to start uh, uh, get, you know, trying to figure out how exactly to mount the wing uh, to the plane. Um, I posted a couple of questions, you know, I, I, I posted a, a thread on uh, rchelp.com asking for suggestions, you know, how, how would you guys do it. I think I've, I think I've even asked on YouTube a few um, a few times, and uh, I've I've gotten some some uh, you know very very good uh, suggestions on how to mount my wing to the fuselage, and it uh, uh, one of the one of the main um, you know su suggestions that kept coming up you know over and over and over was to use uh, bolts with uh, T nuts or blind nuts. Um, I put some thought into it and you know, I, th I think I kind of figured out how to do that uh, so um, you know w without messing around you know much longer I just went, went over to the hardware store and I bought me some uh, bought some blind nuts I uh, instead of buying bolts uh, I actually bought uh, I bought a three foot piece of uh, all thread uh, that, that, that way I can you know custom you know c you know have my own custom length uh, bolts um, I uh, just, I don't know, that's just, that's just what I decided to do. Um, but, um, yeah, so um, uh, let's, let's go ahead and get to it, and I'll, I'll show, show, show you what, I, what I've done, and we'll see what you guys think. All right, so, <clears throat> um, probably the first thing you guys, you'll, you'll notice right away, uh, I, for, you know, for, for, the, for the people that have, that have been following me along on my plane, um, on my my previous video that I did uh, before this one, uh, I had mentioned that I would made some changes to the plane just because I was concerned with um, issues of being uh, the plane being tail heavy. Well, I um, I, I was talking with um, Tony from uh, RCHelp.com, absolutely incredible guy, very knowledgeable. Um, he's actually helped me out quite a bit on this plane. Um, so Tony, again, you know, I certainly appreciate all, all the help, the suggestions, you know, that, that you've given towards, towards, uh, getting this monstrosity of a plane done. But, um, so, you know, um, one, one of the suggestions that, that Tony made was, you know, to put, put the fuselage back the way it was, uh, and still, you know, um, you know, uh, extend the nose a bit further, which is what, what I, I was doing, um, with my previous change. Well, the more and more I got thinking about it, I mean, I really wanted the fuselage like this. I wanted it stacked up three high, and I wanted to be able to mount the motor here in the back. I wanted the plane to be a pusher. Um, it's, it's something that I wanted from, you know, from the absolute beginning. And, um, I, you know, I was actually really bummed um, when, when I did make the decision uh, to not make it a pusher and to mount the uh, motor on the nose, but you know, again, like I said, I got talking with Tony, and um, the, you know, the more and more I got to think about it, it was, you know, I'm just going to go back the way it was, because that that was the way I wanted it originally. I wanted the plane to be a pusher, so uh, I'm I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go back to that, and uh, so I've got my my three pieces of fuselage stacked up on top of each other, and this here's a, a little. Um, little recess area where there's a piece of aluminum that'll sit in there and then the, the motor mount uh, stays up back here. But we're not, we're not here to talk about uh, the motor mount in this video. Um, we're talking about mounting the wing on top here. Sorry, I keep slamming it down to give you guys an earthquake. Um, something I did originally here on the inside, on the inside of the top, I put a piece of uh, eighth inch, eighth inch? Hold on a second. Let me take measure go. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, yeah. This is just just that that thin uh, eighth inch plywood. Um, you can pick this stuff up just about anywhere, and it's it's really not that much uh, for a nice big four, four by eight sheet. Um, but anyway, I put a piece of uh, of that eighth inch plywood here on the inside, and I figured that would help uh, reinforcing the the mounting for the wing on top of the fuselage. But um, the way I was gonna do that, uh, I, I really don't think I mentioned how I was gonna, how I was thinking about doing that to begin with. 
And I'm actually really glad I didn't because I don't think it would work anyway. So, but, uh, you know, I'll get, so I got, I got talking with uh, Tony from rchelp.com. There's quite a few other people on rchelp.com. And uh, probably ha half a dozen people on YouTube, they were suggesting using blind nuts. Um, put, you know, put the blind nuts on the inside of the fuselage here. What is that? Oh, is that nut I couldn't find? Running around in there. Okay. But um, put, uh, put the blind nuts on the inside here and run, run, some, run some bolts, or in my case it would be all thread, uh, down through the top. Um, and uh, get some large washers uh, for the outside. Or if you know, it would be for the very top of the wing, to, and then uh, tighten a nut down. I would get um, those uh, uh, lock nuts with the nylon on the inside, and um, that should be able to hold this on there. Uh, one of the other suggestions uh, that I had gotten was to double up um, that plywood here on the inside. And at first I wasn't going to, but the more I got thinking about it, I decided it'd probably be a better idea. It'd probably be a good idea. So I've got uh, I've got another piece of the eighth inch plywood. Um, here are the blind nuts. Uh, I just simply drilled a hole through uh, where, where the holes all matched up and I put, I put a little ring of hot glue uh, around the outside of the hole and then smashed that blind nut in there. That way the hot glue is holding onto the, the blind nut and coming up through the holes. Because the, you know, the, there's two different types of these blind nuts. There's these round ones, it's got the brad holes, and then there's those other blind nuts that have those spikes that you pound into the wood. Now, I, I decided to get the ones that have the brad holes in them because I was thinking that the hot glue would come up uh, through that. So that's what I did. I covered it in um, uh, black packing tape. Um, and so um, this will, oops, I'm make sure all the, all the holes line up. But that'll go in there. You know, and uh, Hang on a second, and I'll get some hardware in this, and I'll show you some more. Okay, uh, so something you'll see here that I've done now. Uh, I've got my my piece of uh, my second piece of plywood, the one I just showed you with the black packing tape and the blind nuts on there. That is underneath here, and uh, I've got uh, four of my um, four of my pieces of all thread. Um, um, screw, uh, screwed down into the blind nuts. Uh, here's the, the back and the front. These are my two pieces for the middle. They just go right down in there and screw in a little bit into that blind nut. There we go. Now, so something I, I do plan on doing, I, mean, I don't know if you, you can see right here, I, I just have a nut right here and a nut right here to, to hold the, uh, the plywood there, the second piece of plywood there in, pl in place. Um, what, what I do plan on doing, like here on the inside, um, let's see if I can get over to this one here so you can see it. All right, see, I've got that piece of all thread coming through there. Uh, what I plan on doing is here on the inside, I plan on putting a, a lock nut. You know, it's just a regular nut with that nylon insert on the inside. Um, I'm going to put uh, a lock nut here on, on this. Um, that, that'll that'll keep that in place um, and then here on the top uh, I figured what I would do is get a, a washer that is just a big yeah get this nut here I figured I get I get a washer that, that is just a bit a uh, bit bigger diameter uh, than the nut um, then I put the washer down on there and then I would go ahead and cinch these nuts uh, down on there that way with the lock nut on the inside and then the washer here on the outside and then you, you take take that nut and go ahead and run that down and cinch that down there you know maybe maybe put some thread lock on there um, and kind of smash that down into the foam board a bit I think that'll that'll keep that in place uh, pretty good I'll do that for all six of them obviously uh, so uh, we'll go ahead and b b back this up and, and give it a, give it a quick review um, so I've got my, my second piece of plywood in here. I've got my six pieces of all, th all thread going through the foam board, through two layers of the plywood to a blind nut here on the inside. Yeah, I gotta keep that in the camera frame there for you. Sorry about that. Uh, the bolts are going through, going through the blind nut here on the inside. I'm gonna put a lock nut 
uh, here on where, where, where that comes through on the inside of the, the fuselage part there. And then here on the outside, uh, I'm going to have another washer that's just a bit, di bit bigger diameter than the nut and tighten that nut down so it squashes into that foam board a little bit. And I think that'll keep that in place. Uh, so actually, g give, me, give me just a second. I'm going to get things rearranged and I'll show you the wing uh, actually on the plane. I actually had it on, on, on the fuselage just a little bit ago and I took it off that way I could show you guys. So hang on just one second. So there we have it. We have the wing mounted to the fuselage. I don't know if you can see in there, but see right here, I've got uh, my piece of all thread coming through, all six, all six of them going through, through the wing, through the top of the foam board of the fuselage, through the two pieces of plywood that are in there and into those blind nuts that are underneath. Let's see if we can get over here. And there we go. Wing is mounted. You'll see I've got my little marks here for flaps and ailerons. That's my servo leads right here. I actually had a piece of masking tape on there that labeled them. But they were actually getting kind of a hassle to poke these leads uh, through those holes that I've got inside. So I just went ahead and labeled them here on the outside, making try to make that simpler. So uh, there we go. Um, let me take the camera here. Hang on a second. We have another earthquake. Man, I am good at giving you guys earthquakes. So, but there we go. What do you guys think of that? Um, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's going to work pretty well. Uh, something I do want to do. Uh, let me get the camera turned here again. That way I can show you what I'm thinking here. There we go. All right. Um, here, here on the top, um, I think it's going to need. Um, it's going to need obviously need some kind of. Um, uh, I guess you'd call it, you know, some kind of a washer kind of deal, you know, something I could I could tighten the uh, nuts down onto my all thread posts um, and not have this rip up. Um, again, so something I was thinking, I've got some more of this uh, eighth inch or sixteenth eight, whatever this aluminum is, I forget, but um, it's just just some uh, 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 inexpensive aluminum bar stock. I pick it up at Lowe's, not that much. Um, I was thinking about um, making two, two upper rib kind of deals that, um, I mean, I'll, I'll have to bend and contour, but I've got a buddy of mine, he's got an English wheel, so I could probably put this in an English wheel and have that come out really nice. Um, but uh, I was thinking about having, you know, some kind of, I mean, it's obviously, it's going to need something here on top to, to help uh, squeeze all that together and, you know, keep that together and whatnot. Uh, my first thought was like uh, plywood, but I'm just not. I'm, I, I think that's gonna be a pain in the backside. But I think these, um, you know, get get a couple of these pieces of aluminum bar stock, you know, about to where it went to the, like the, tra the trailing edge, or just shy of it, and you know, so it went to here, um, and just give it a nice bend to give it that that same contour, obviously as the wing, you know, may maybe round out. Um, that you know where that piece of aluminum comes right here, maybe round that off so it's not square and ugly. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, it's uh, about a quarter after three in the morning now, and um, I probably ought to get things cleaned up and get a shower and call it a night. Uh, unfortunately, I've got to work for the next uh, three nights, so I, I won't be able to mess with this until next week. Um, but I'm definitely happy. I, th I think I'm definitely happy with uh, how, how this is going to come out. Uh, I'm really not going to progress any further with this until I hear back from you guys. I have absolutely loved your guys' suggestions. I've loved you guys' comments. Um, there's actually been quite a few of you. Hold on a second, I'll give you another earthquake. Um, there's actually been quite a few of you that, um, that are absolutely stoked about the progress uh, on, on this plane. I think a couple of you are even more stoked about this darn thing than I am. Um, so, um, I, now, um, I'm actually going to get out of here and uh, close this video out, but bef before I do go, um, th um, so something I want to I do is I want to give a uh, special hello to uh, Savannah. 
Uh, Savannah is a very cute little girl. Um, she, she, she is the daughter of my, my friend on YouTube. Uh, YouTube name is uh, Daisy, the number eight, Luke. It's a uh, Daisy eight Luke. Um, you know, seeing as how I haven't actually seen you uh, share your name on YouTube, I don't know if you, um, uh, I d don't know if you mind giving that out. You know, some people are a bit finicky about that. So, but um, uh, to, to uh, a special hello to uh, Savannah, hello, and uh, Daisy eight Luke. Hey, I appreciate all your help too. Um, um, so, 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 uh, Savannah, I'm um, sorry, I, I stutter when I talk, keep that in mind. Uh, Savannah, I, I really appreciate you guys keeping track of my progress on this plane. Um, I'm absolutely having a ball with this thing. I really hope that it works out. Um, so yeah, hey, special hello to you guys, and I'm out of here. Have a good night. Earthquake! Isn't that terrible? I try to make a good video and I shake the darn camera everywhere.